Greetings and thanks for stopping by. It's Leela from Ms. Leela Pink Journey. Watch as I change the paper roll in the Epson F570 sublimation printer. Check the box below the video for contact information and other details. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open the back panel so that I can change the actual paper roll. Um, as I said, I have 17 inch paper roll in the printer and it's a little short now and I want to change that to the 24 inch paper roll. So let me flip this up and then there's a blue um, little bar right here that you just hold on to it and you flip it up like that. And then um, just before I go through all that, you can see right here that you can also add other size papers to it. So there's, um, you can add 11 by 17 paper and you can also add the regular um, eight and a half by 11. I almost couldn't remember that. <laughs> so you can add, you know, different size papers too. You don't always have to use the paper roll. I've only used this one a couple of times, but I'm going to um, go ahead and show you how I changed the paper roll. I wanted to show you what the screen shows when you are ready to change the roll. When you're going to remove the roll, you can check the screen. Let me hit cancel and see it said ejecting paper it was really quick but it said it's in ejecting paper and then that makes it where you just slightly roll really easy and it just rolls off it releases the paper so you don't have to have any pressure when you're ready to release the roll release the paper and then you lift it up and you'll see these two sides to it this side and this is the side that you actually remove and you just roll it out like that. There we go. And you take this to the side. So just as a quick reference, I wanted to show you my printer uh, told me that I needed to change the actual paper. It told me the paper was low, and this is the 17 inch roll. There was plenty of paper left on the roll. Of course, you can't see it when it's in the printer, um, but you can see on the screen, and also on your computer, it'll tell you exactly how much paper is left. And I only changed it because I wanted to change from the 17 inch roll to the 24 inch roll, but it's telling me it's low, and I had that much paper left. So that's a lot of paper still left when, even when it's telling you that it's low. So keep that in mind. And I have um, the larger paper roll here that I want to put in. So I'll just add that in the, on the spool. And I'm going to take it to the side because I want to make sure it flips. To be sure that it's on the roll nice and tight, and so it is. It's on the roll. Make sure it's flush down to the end of that roll. And then I will take this. It's not too heavy. I will, oh, sorry. So now that it's on the roll, I'm going to put this piece back on, just like that, not hard at all. And then, sorry about the camera shaking, I'm moving everything. We'll take that, grab that sheet of paper. I want to make sure it catches in there. So as I roll it in, we should hear a little beep. So there's the beep to let me know that it's in there. And the front cover is telling me to close the roll paper cover. 
on the cut sheet cover. And then I click OK. And now it's loading the paper. So it's going through now and it is loading the paper. It's going through the process. This is the 24 inch roll of paper that I've added in there. So now it's telling me paper loaded. Continue. Let it go through the process. And it's telling me that the paper is low, but it's not low. It's just that I've used this paper that I already used before, but I needed the 24 inch in there. So it's telling me I have 609.6 mm, and that's perfect. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching as I replace the roll from a 17 inch roll to a 24 inch roll. Next, I'll be replacing one of the inks. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'll do more videos. Thanks.